Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Good morning, ladies and gents. All right, you guys can hear me all right. Ones if we're good, twos, if we need to make any adjustments. It is about two minutes till go time. And a little bit late here this morning. Coming into the open here. <clears throat> we try to catch, uh, gonna be trying to catch some recordings of our audio box here this morning. I'll be making a lot more notes of the actual algo box sounds because today is Wednesday. Now, a couple other things about the Wednesday. What do we need to think about today? Let's see, without any hints, first thing this morning, it's Wednesday. We've had two days in on the day. What should be my primary thoughts today? Me personally, what should I personally be thinking here? Wednesday, two days into the week, Monday, Tuesday, under the belt. Let's see what you guys think. In here. Had several good days. Yes. L said, be very careful. Don't give it back. Two good days. Don't give it back. Earnings. All good answers here. Wacky Wednesday. Yes, Crossbow is coming with the Founders Club thoughts. Yes, it is Wacky Wednesday. And, of course, because I've had... All right. We've got buyers stepping in here. Not going to really be concerned here right at the open. So the open is coming in right now. The first thing, I'm going to be trying to sit on hands here for a few minutes past the open. <laughs> um, but the main thing I should be thinking, should today be easy or hard? And why? Yes, I would say today is likely going to be a hard cadence day, exactly. So, cadence, we talk about that in videos. Uh, maybe one and two, and it might be number four. But right now, I am on two windfall days. Yesterday was actually even bigger than Monday. Monday was a very, very easy day. Followed up yesterday. I don't know if I'd say it was easier, but maybe the mindset just set it in perfectly. But we absolutely crushed it yesterday. So that's okay. We are hearing buyers, buyers, buyers stepping in here. But again, it's right here at the open. It is 9.31. Don't want to sit on my hands for a few more minutes. Excellent work, JC. JC's already up 11.50 on the day here this morning. And we've got about another minute here or so that I want to kind of try to sit on hands that first see how that initial buy was just sold off again the early stuff you broke although that is a very nice harmonic cross short back into that zone push up huge sell off there about 30 seconds so I want to start looking for my first set of trades here all right so the markets want my money back okay. I am two days up huge windfall days I am not planning on giving it back to douse myself from being confident right now. King timing right now. King timing line. All right. Here we go. Now let's get serious. 
Uh, Gambitage up 387 so far. Lunch money, excellent. Got lots of folks in early today. Okay, let's take a peek. First set of trades. Kick off our timer here. Coming into a structure, we have a line we've identified here, that purple line there, 27.75. What's our MACV? Let's just take a peek across the entire stratosphere here. So what are we telling us here? Majority MACV green. I'm sorry, the uh, other matrix. Majority green here. MACV is red. We've got plenty of space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth bar right here to prove whether or not we should be looking reds. We've got longs favorable. Trying to swing only at large and king timings. Didn't reset my five trades. Here we go. Five trades. Our first red dot followed almost immediately by a green dot right there on that 2775 line. Literally touched it. One, two, three, four, five, six times now, accumulating on this line. Here comes the king timing. If we get a distribution here on the king. Double red dot. I hear buyers though, so not touching it. You hear that? Buyers pushing it straight through, double dot broken. Let's see if we get a plover right here. Give me a white cross. Do it. Nope, no white cross. Nothing showed up. PRZ, you were just up above us here. No clover. It did not get there. Missed it by a couple of ticks. There a pink dot there, very nice. So we got the turn right off of that pink dot. I got my finger on the cell. We are still Mac V red. Okay, there's the buyer stepping in and it is a green dot broken, taking a short underneath that green dot that showed up briefly. Showed up for just a moment. Got PRZ targets down below. Stop up into the Reverse. PRZ. Oh, 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 my first trade of day already hitting my stops. I got a pink dot over on the left. I'd like to re-engage this. I'm gonna re-engage that one more time short. Came up and just touched some of my stops. There we go, coming back down. Okay, Target sells. There we go, sellers on the tape, pushing out. A little bit farther there we go aggressive selling you can hear the aggressive selling coming in on the tape there target fill right to that purple line all right now i pushed out four runners excellent touch in plan on that purple line one more time here Looks like we're going to song and dance right on that target line. filled. Close it right here. Excellent. Okay, 
So took two trades. I'm gonna call that two trades there off of that re-engaging. First one, almost a half loss there, but actually some of that position stayed on. That's a really weird scenario that happened right there. It literally came to a tick, stopped me out partially there. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Get through. Okay, red dot coming in here. Got my finger on the trigger for the sell. Coming right into a double crossover timing. Your buyer stepping in. Piercing through the red dot. Pushed up. I've got my finger on the sell. MACV is still red here. I got a crossover timing coming up. That is a medium king timing. Yeah, the bull riding analogy. Exactly. Ride it, catch it, and then go. Yeah, I do not like the way that that just moved right there. That could be a long direction now. Let's see. Over timing there. Higher step, they try. Try number one, try number two. We do have a PRZ up above us. Here comes king timing. Red dot, getting on my cell. All right, it's got my finger over the close if we break that red dot. See if we can push her back down here. Moving very, very quickly. Yikes. Okay, we've got a white cross right here. And buyer stepping in. Closer. Target filled. All right, taking a loss on the second. That's the third trade of the day here. Broke straight through that. Buying into this PRZ up above us. Clover, I'm way behind it. I hear buyers all over the tape. Way behind that clover because I was thinking about that red dot prior. Target filled. There we go, pushing straight through the shark. Fires all over the tape. Listening for it, pushing out two runners up into those PRZs up above. King timing. Push it up. High of day up there on that green line. Mackvee's still red. All right, back down to my point of entry here. Again, I got a horrid entry on that clover. Gotten way more out of that. Back to PRZ down below. Let's see if we bounce or break through. Push it straight through. Pulling. Tops up back behind the shark. We're looking for the, the trap and move. So this is going to be a bull trap up top. I'm going to be looking for a spot to sell here any moment. Give me a reason. Target okay. filled. And I'm looking to sell. Sell. Okay, here comes some sellers. I'm getting in on that sell. Again, this should be a bull trap up top. There we go. We've got targets down below us into the PRZ. No, this is moving very, very quickly here this morning. If you're trying to keep up, I get it. It's not going to be an easy day. Talk about it from the beginning. Expect a trap right here between 940 and 950. That is obviously a bull trap up top. Everybody looking long. What comes down, we came right in on that king timing. Breaking through PRZs here. We'll likely walk through all these and see back down to that purple line. And this time that purple line may break. White cross here right on my point of entry. 
double cross adding to my position here if i i want to hear the seller step back in we've got a uh, good a good 10 bars before king time right now yikes green dot okay party is over right there dead gummit you think about a green dot showing up okay i gotta take off half the position right here green dot coming in king timing yikes buyer stepping uh, i could get wrong on this one i could be very very wrong on this one Green dot, second green dot, yikes. All right, I need to abandon this position. Whoa, double dot just broken. Am I gonna get lucky? I hear sellers, I hear sellers coming. Break down, come on. Break down for me, don't wreck me. All right, I'm moving my stop into that high just up above. This is going to be Genki here. That could be still red. Expecting the bull trap up top. That also looks like another. That's like a second push for the bulls. Hopefully that gets failed. And a push right back down to that purple line. Target filled. Glorious. All right. We're going to be in a good spot here. Here come the sellers. I heard them step. I need another set of, I need another set of sellers to really see that to fruition here. Right into the king timing. Coming back. Nope. I'm going to close out. Okay, yikes, a little bit of a tough spot there. So it didn't break, and we had that green PRZ close out the rest of the position right here. Right on, was that a Gartley? Very big shark. So we did not go back down to that 2775 right there, and then boom, we see buyers start to step in. White cross is pushing up into that king line. Okay, so that was trade number four. We've got the fifth trade here coming. Thirteen ninety six so far here on day. Let's see, Mac V still red. Looks like a bull trap. It's only 946. Again, we expect a trap here between 940 and 950. So if it feels to the long side, we want to be looking for the trap up top and get short. I got my finger over the cells. MACV still red. Need a setup though. All right, here come the sellers on the king line. I'm going to reinitiate. This is my last. Trade here before 1010. Getting short here on the king line. Here, sellers stepping all over the tape here. Hear that sound. Here we go. Let's get there. Target, target, target filled. Glorious! Right down to that 2775. That, ladies and gents, is why we use the big purple line. Big seller stepping all into that. I got my finger over the cell for my sixth trade. Six shooter. I'm going to dip my toe in the water short right here. Again, very, very small position. The We've got a PRZ target on the MACV of 2770, way down there. Right there on the MACV to the left. White cross coming in. Should have had to position there. But I'm getting a little, a little nervous on that. Here we go. And PRZ is gone. Target back. filled. Get you some. 
Hold it. There it is. And we are at 948. Bull trap was definitely there. Bull trap, bull crap. Roll it! And the red headshot to take us all the way down to 2770, which is where that PRZ showed up over there on the left. Oh, wow, that was stressful. What are you talking about, JC? It was totally normal. <laughs> Wasn't hard at all. That wasn't much. That wasn't much harder than the last few days at all. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Uh, I would say, <laughs> obviously, much more difficult today than has been in the last few days. Was it not? All right. So let's 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 get a feeling around the room. So I'm I'm done six trades in here this morning. Again, I'm not going to over trade here. What? Uh, you guys who are new with us in five trades, how does that work? Okay, type exclamation mark five trades in the room. There it is. So five trades, and then I took a sixth bonus trade because I was well up on the day. Almost at my 4K target, 33.83 here. Let's look at um, the stats. But can everybody feel how much different that was? Anybody who's been here the last two days? Type me a one if you're like, yes, you can feel the difference between the last two days versus what happened right there for me, right? Now, were we able to trade that? Well, yes. Did we have some good setups in there? Yes. Were they as great as yesterday and the day before where it was, you know, plenty of time for the setup, waiting in, there's a beautiful entry right there? No. This boat, though, is the typical. We knew, what What did I tell you guys? Not between 940 and 950? We're looking for the trap, okay? The first 10 minute move, okay? Fake everybody, everybody who's looking at the markets right now, catching a bunch of retailers off sides. We want all the retailers getting on one side, one direction. Like, okay, yeah, that looked long, right? Let's let's look back at the, uh, look back over at the, the charts here. Move this out. Well, actually all of this, all this, like look over here on the Mac V, right? All this, uh, my drawing tool isn't up here. Look at the MACV. Okay. What's the MACV telling you? You know, it's just up, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, big move up, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Morning open. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going long. No, we're not. Nope, no, we're not. Nope, nope, no, we're not. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. That's how things work. Market cadence back and forth. Always back and forth. I don't mean, not a mean reversion guy. Okay. Uh, most people do that too often. They're trying to pick highs and pick lows. This happened to be this setup. All right. Look at your wave chart. Where are we? Are we in the golden ropes on the tide and the wave? Yep. Talked about that yesterday. Um, I saw somebody this morning that uh, Steve I think, telling you guys, hey, remember I told, talked about yesterday that we're going to be sticky in those golden ropes, right? And sure, oh, we got a moon. Whoa, 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 there is a moon on the Mac V. You got the moon on the Mac V? All right, major, major right here. Let's see what's going on. Green dot. So, is this going to be a bear trap on the bottom side? Got boom, boom. We could remember, we're inside the golden ropes on the 89s right now. Absolutely good. Our time, 9.52 a.m. Eight minutes till 10. Now, oftentimes, most of the time, I'm not done with five or six trades already at this time of day, unless I've been early in the morning, okay? I mean, I came in late today. Very interesting where we're at here. We've got double dot right there. 
Double dot can push us to the 2775 up top. So I would normally be going into head and taking this. Switch over to Sim. I'm gonna take a swing at this. I'm gonna buy this. That's a double dot. Now it's a triple dot. Yikes. Third dot. Seller. Seller's just stepping in right here. Seller, 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 sellers. Well, this is gonna this is gonna be a loss on my sim here. I just wanted to take a swing at this just to see what would happen. Got 2775 up there, and again, another fake, right? Fakes. Any buyers that were going to be coming into this, the bull trap was definitely in. 953, you know, we really don't have a have a specific thing that we're looking for um, at this time of day. Right? No 10 minute window thing we're looking for. Between 940 and 950, absolutely we're looking for that trap, right? This is about to be a 15 tick stop there from that double dot. Stops out here. Go ahead and fix it. Target filled. So just messing around there and sim. But see, you know, if I'm if I'm over trading, we rode the bull well this morning, right? We got on that bull, eight second ride. Those of you guys who are okay, let's <laughs> I hate that it's a bull riding analogy, only because when everybody thinks bulls in stock market context, they think people looking to the long side. But Bull riders in the sense of, I don't care if we're going long or short, we're getting on that bull, riding it. That bull is going to break your back if you ride it for too long, right? Eight seconds is defined as a ride. For a very short window of time, we want to get ahead, ride that bull, tell that bull who's boss, ride him. But right now, dude, are we going to be able to continue to predict and ride with, and know every move that that bull is going to make? We rode it very, very well. Um... Trying to keep my fingers off the triggers. I've already switched my account over to Sim, so I'm not going to be smashing the buttons in my live account now. It's uh, five minutes till 10. But I want to make sure everybody feels how different that was. Very interesting that we're getting that moon right there. Something big is about to happen here. If I had to put, if somebody had a gun in my head, where would I? Wow. <laughs> Actually, it looks like I would not have stopped out on that position, and it would, it is going up to that 2775 potentially here. But with this much activity coming in right here, how rare is it to see a moon coming in on the Mac V? All right, look at that. So something big is going to happen right here. Do we literally return to highs and all the way up there, the next level that we're looking at would be 2793. If you're looking at your charts, that purple line and that screenshot is posted in the room. That is way up there, 2793. Here is a HMD short. But that just dipped faked. Every bear on the planet getting short right there. This is likely going up now. So now we had the bull trap up top. If I had to bet on it right now, we're moving up to that 2775. We're going to touch it one more time. But wowzers, that is a that is a short right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch it. Just an HMD short. Get a little bit bigger here on. I'm doing sim right now. Anybody, look, if you're trading right now, be very, very careful. I've already switched over to sim here at this point of the day. Look, here's what I'm taking. I'm going to try this. This should be, on any normal day here, I want to take that short. Right? I got a nice HMD. It's bright red. I got Mac V red. There we go. Yep. Levels do the work. The levels are levels for a while, but that level has been tested so many times already over and over again. It may be done now, right? We may move off of it. Did you draw the moon, coach? I don't have it on my Mac V. I definitely did not draw the moon, but you probably do not have Flowmaster. It's a good time for you to add the Flowmaster bubbles to your chart, my friend. So, Trader Scott, I'm talking to you. Right click your chart. Go to indicators. Stop in here on. 
That's just going to go up here. It is. I hear buyers stepping in right on the king. Going to have to break down here on the king for this. Pain that all the way down. Red dot, second red dot being broken and buyers stepping in. There she goes. We're pushing up there to 27.75. We're going to see that line again. Um, on the Ripples and McAfee, all your charts, my friend. Okay. Now, how do I break this down? On, uh, let's see. So I use the Flowmaster crosshairs on one, two, three. Anything between one and three, I'm using the crosshairs. I don't think I've ever used the four. I know some people use a four. Four is like, in, oh, Clover, Clover, Clover. White cross. Uh, Humphrey, you said you're looking for your white cross. There she is. Here she comes. There's a Clover. Target filled. Target filled, and what did we just touch? The big purple line. Target filled. Out. All right, so, so again, we're just talking through here um, a couple of things. So the moon, anybody who bought, purchased the plus pack. So I know we had quite a few people last week. It was Easter. Lots of folks got in on that offer to get gold plus. So the plus pack. If you did buy plus, plus again, it's it's sold separately. Like Mattel or Hasbro here, selling toys, beautiful toy. All right, but you need to play with your toys. Get on your charts, add your toys. Okay, so go to your chart, Mac V. Um, it's bubbles on that. What are your dot settings? I'm not getting any red dot there, Adam. I'm on tens on the ones on ES right now because of the volatility in the VIX. Setting is 10. Um, yeah, 20 is normal. 20 is what we want to have majority of the time for all markets. And when I move back to the NASDAQ, I'm certain I'll switch it back. But right now, the ES is handing out candy. It has been for a while since the VIX is up here. Wow, that was a beautiful green dot. Came in right there. Push it up even farther. We had a bull trap up top. Nice catch on the right down. And could I have predicted this? No, but because that moon showed up, that became more possible. There's a headshot short. All right, headshot short here. Let's move my stops where they're supposed to be. Again, I'm just practicing here. It is them account now. So headshot short. Can you see the headshot? You gotta see a headshot type of one. Not see the headshot type of two. Curious. Humphrey even seeing it and responding in the room. Humphrey's getting the hang of things. So proud of you, kid. Atta boy. Uh, let's see, JC, you did not see it. Okay, so if you've got the 10 settings, here's what it looks like. Screenshot here. Tar target filled. And ta -ta. filled. Uh, not only did we have a headshot there, we also had the PRZ, right? One of our absolute favorites. Look at that. Came in to be an absolute wrecking ball. What's up, Benny? Good to see you today, my friend. Glorious! The glorious headshot right there. Mac V was still red. So again, another bull trap fake, right? I'm sure bulls were looking long. Look at L's crushing it. 29-20. 
So proud of you guys. What do you mean difficult day? Exactly, right? Hey, did, did I say it was an impossible day? Nope. Did I say it was going to be more difficult? Yep. <laughs> hey, with our tools? Come on. Got a cheat called Algobox. All right, you got the moon on now. Excellent work, Trader Scott. All right, so he's got his moons on. Excellent work. Now, that's the bubble. So you guys get the... Does everybody understand the difference between Flowmaster Cross and Flowmaster Bubbles? Does everybody understand that they are the same drawn differently? Two different visuals. Okay, yeah, some people know. Okay, so here's how I'm going to answer that. Adam, break it down. 11.32.50. Excellent work, sir. 1,132.50. Excellent work. Okay, now, so a few people said the no. Um, so Flowmaster in general, badass order flow, craziness, not like your, this is not your grandpa's order flow. Okay, order flow is an overused, oh my word, like two years ago, that was like the buzzword of all buzz. Ooh, order flow. Ooh, order flow. Order. No, 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 that's what they were selling you on, right? It's like watching CNBC for your news about trading. It's retarded. But it gets you to do things. It gets you to buy, it gets you to believe. There will be, I'm sure, another thing that comes out in a few years. Anyhow, now, if you want to generally um, categorize it would be categorized as an order flow algo. This is just bomb.com, as you guys have already seen before. Um, but what do we want to do with it? We've got two shapes. That white cross up at the top right, and that moon, basically the same thing. If I had the bubble, what we call bubbles, okay? So the bubbles and the crosses are the same, but I like on the higher time frames. I want to think of it more in like this zone. So I use the bubble version to kind of give me this area of interest, right? And it shows out big right there. Now, again, we could do a cross right there and I could see it on there. But for the higher time frames in general, I'm using bubbles. Everything that we do here is about visualizing price, okay? If you want to put crosses on all yours, that's fine. But I don't recommend that. I really want everybody to be the same. Now, now, is that like, oh, you know, Vinny, you're just trying to control everything. You're trying to be a Democrat. Hell no, right? You want to be a Republican and smart and you want to do your thing? I get it. But when you're going through basic training, I do recommend that you do it my way. Okay, for a long time. When you're about a year into this program, um, <laughs> you guys thought that was funny. You know it's the truth. Um, when you're, you know, your first year in here with us, like, do it my way. Okay, just do do me a favor. Okay, I have reasons for things that you could not possibly understand. I promise. There is a reason for everything I do. I am that OCD, anal, perfectionist. I just am. I think through everything. Everything has a reason and a purpose. The color schemes, literally every decision, down to what mouse you use, to what mice you bind, what keys you bind to it to the screenshotting stuff that we do, to the very keyboard that you're typing on right now, and your screens, your setups, all that, right? It matters. I have a reason. <laughs> Anthony said, listen to him, he knows. Yes, you'll learn the hard way if you don't. But later on, a year in, okay, once you've got it, when you've been through what I call basic training, you've gotten your tail kicked, and I've beaten you up like Humphrey I have several times, okay? Some other people in here, other people learn quickly, all right? There's slow learners, there's fast learners. Just raise your hand and admit if you are, you aren't. All right, truth is truth. You can change it, okay? But admit and know where you are. Um, but do it my way first. Then make it yours, okay? The best way to learn how to play an instrument, if you're playing music and things, you got to learn how to play it the way that the composer originally designed it first, and then make the remix, right? You want to remix it later? Awesome. You got a good song. You can play it like a champ. You can play it the right way the first time. Like, then you want to mix it up. You want to play the remix. Absolutely. Do it. Yeah, take good screenshots, please. I'm going to kick your butt like I did Ringo. <laughs> All right. 
think about your framing. Right? You can take a screenshot, make it worth it. Let people know it's you know a picture should be worth a thousand words. But if the thousand words are literally like, what the f did you just take a picture of? Okay, I don't want to. I don't let Joe Biden come in here and talk in my room. Okay, you want to your screenshots a thousand words, but it, like Joe Biden just said a thousand words, but nobody knows what he said. Okay. Uh, what World War World War Two? There was uh, there was some things and some and some stuff happened and you know the things. Rowdy, 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 rut. Huh? Yeah. Like that. O O zero O three three O Joe. Um. Dot com. If you want to text me. Mm. Okay. No. <laughs> Drunk Pelosi. No, no drunk Pelosi's. No Joe Biden's in here. Be clear, succinct. Know what we're doing. <laughs> Is that his aunt? Oh my word, the kids and roaches one. Whoa, that was hilarious. I, dude, that guy. Mm, mm. How do Democrats even take themselves seriously when that's your candidate? How do you look yourself in the mirror in the morning and go, "I'm proud to be." Uh, with Joe. <laughs> the guy has lost his mind. And you want that guy at the, at the head table to make decisions for the greatest country on earth? Joking me. Biden is good. <laughs> well, if Biden's good... Then I'm Jesus Christ. All right. Um, occasional gas, Humphrey. No, I understand why you are so dumb now, my friend. I'm not even joking around. You're a fucking retard. I'll say that to your face. I will say it boldly. I've watched you try in this room. You've literally been here a year, and people that have been here for three weeks are ahead of you, right? It's not surprising to me. And you think Joe's okay? Fucking retard. Or you're watching too much CNN. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Joe's a great guy, right? Corrupt as all can be, you know. See, Humphrey, that's this is why you're never going to succeed in the bro. You can't see truth when truth is in front of your face. <clears throat> all right, so let's uh, let's have a peek here. So we are still back at this purple line. This purple line is relentless. All right, back up to it. What's our time? Ten ten. Okay, sit on hands. Sit on hands. Um, let's see. So back to the flow master thing. So flow master, awesome tool. You got bubbles, you got crosses, higher time frames. I let me see. What's the rule? Is it anything above? Yeah. Now again, out of the box, they're already going to come installed. If you click on the flow master, um, workspace that comes with algo box, it's already going to be preset up for you. But if you are adding the plus pack, You'll need to change over from Flowmaster Platinum because I believe that is what's on those. You know, in the next release, we'll have another one on there. It's called the uh, the Plus Pack, or the uh, we'll do one that's specifically to Plus just to make it easier on folks. But uh, that's why we're kind of we had that discount offer last week. Um, but once we get that next release out, um, prices will kind of come back to normal and all that kind of good jazz. So. You guys do want to, I think I have not gone out there and updated the website. It's been a busy week. Um, I think the offers are still out there sitting on the website. So take advantage of my laziness or not getting out there to do the website thing. Um, once it's down, she's down. Uh, don't try to sit on hands. Yeah, so we got 20 minutes. Um, till... 30 here. Good time to grab a coffee. Decision fatigue. We are now Mac V green. Shifted into that line there. 
But again, we're in the ropes here. We could get all kinds of stickiness here. Did really well. Let's take a peek at our performance here this morning. So, swinging away, swinging away. How'd we do here? So, 33.83. And 65% profitable. Not bad, not amazing. And profit factor 2.03. Super stoked. Max adverse excursion, 168. Um, and yeah, looking uh, pretty good. Shot that, put that in the room here as well. Range bar size for the week, 13 range. Uh, for the ES, it is 16 for the wave. Mac V is always 8 or 13 um, in general on all markets, with the exception of NASDAQ, real crazy, 18. Mac V. But if you're talking about the wave chart that everybody gets, uh, let me grab that out of the premium room. So premium members have this they can access anytime. I'll go ahead and post this in the public room since you asked. And here are the ranges for all markets. <laughs> now, now you see why I don't trade this time. Jeez, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just don't play in there. Like, just I mean that. Look, that MACV ripped back, ripped, dipped. I have a feeling that that purple line is kind of done now. We'll distribute off of it, but direction, directionally, you can't really tell. We're right in the middle of the golden ropes, up on the highest time frames. They can rip both directions now. Uh, and we don't have to predict the market all day. We seem to be able to predict it for and take our take our trades make our money uh -huh. excellent work sir oh no pet peeve what's wrong with adam's performance report let me help him out what's wrong with adam's performance report percents yeah get that off percents change it to currency Uh, Benny, how'd you do? Let's see. Benny is, let me zoom in, open original. 390. Excellent work, sir. Excellent. 84%. Massive profit factor. Excellent work, sir. Uh, let's have a look at Adam's. 78% profitable, profit factor 7.04. He had like no heat on his trades. They're awesome work. You guys crushed it. You guys absolutely crushed it, destroyed it. Glorious! That headshot though. <laughs> Your 4K monitors are hard to read. Yeah, there's a lot of tricks with the 4K stuff. Um, it's uh, very interesting. So I'm trying a little side monitor recording right now. It didn't do too bad here this morning. I didn't feel things lock up. Um, so I've been recording all of this. $900 for Mr. Cook, Founders Club member. 100%. Look at these stats. Look at these stats. So pull these over here. So I'm just rolling through here what's going in the room. Morning. Um, and of course, we're hanging out in the audio room. If you guys are not in the audio room, this is where we're all chatting. So if you're wondering where everybody's hanging out, Algo Trade Floor, it's open to the public right now. We have not had that much trouble. I hate to say that because you know what that's going to do. It's going to invite them to 
come, but uh, we have zero tolerance for trolls. If you're going to come here to troll, we'll insta ban you, so it's no problem. Move on. But uh, yeah, for now, we'll keep it open to the public. And uh, so let's see. So Humphrey closing down 100 bucks, three trades, 33% profitable, little low, profit factor 1.19. Humphrey's a Democrat. We'll pat him on the back. We'll learn one day. No, probably not. But that's okay. Uh, JC, what do we got? Cook Founders Club. 100% on how many trades are 12 trades in? Of course, I know how that goes. Like, that stat isn't always right. It's always divided up. But 900 bucks, 100%. Excellent. JC, profit factor 6.38. 88%. And where was Bennett here? 4K looks like. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this when I'm zooming in this later, but here we go. Zoomed in. That is factor 18.3. 85%. I it. Adam, $1,282. 78.95%. Profit factor 7.04 crushed it uh, all right gambitage um i know you're not in premium but you know how to use that grid that i posted in the room there you're looking at the second column on that list for the ranges on the wave chart where the optimization comes from you know how to use it okay and let's see the other Topic area. So there was a trade in there that was very interesting. And I think it was the very first trade of the day. Let me go back over and look at that here real quick. And we got still about 10 minutes to sit on hands. Ryu, what'd you put in here? Ryu. He beat me! Alright, Ryu's gonna start teaching the class soon. Ryu, how long you been in here? Not very long. Um, oh, you must have traded some serious size. Told them to trade some 96 plus contracts. Um, you traded more size than I did, I think, today. Let's see. My stat. Okay. Yeah, I would say 38 trades, 3,300, but 3,900 on almost 100 trades. But hey, swing it away. Um, oh, were you trading overnight? I got gotcha. It's a little bit longer. That's cool. Um, so curious. So 60%, 1.71 profit factor. Excellent work. Uh, Ryu, how long have you been in here for with us? Excellent work. I know you're new, but absolutely crushing it. About two weeks. <laughs> That's glorious. Install the cheat, folks. Install the cheat. You don't have to be a great trader. You just have to be a great gamer. Awesome. And you watched most of the videos. Excellent work. Yeah, I think you like you've been officially with us two weeks, but you you'd watched the videos for a while before you hopped on board. Excellent work. <clears throat> Crushing it. Um, all right, here buyers all over the tape. Actually, that was kind of my my main focus here today. I need to be able to record some of this. So you hear buyers all over the tape right now. You hear it? That sound right there. That is that's buyers. Now I want to talk about two ways to use <clears throat> that. Now I'm hoping to go ahead tonight. We'll do the Flowmaster audio. This is kind of prepped up for that. Um, we'll get some recordings of that today, hopefully during the lunch hour, so that I can use those in our examples. Tonight on Flowmaster Audio will be part two. <clears throat> but let's talk about some ways that we use that we use that. Decentralize the die. What's up, my friend? Did somebody send him an invite to the audio chat. Uh, 
go. Come hang out with us. Um, he is a he's a follower of Tom Dante, buddy old Tom. <clears throat> um, so the sounds. Several ways. Um... <laughs> Sorry, wrong chat. <clears throat> All right. Um, so several ways to use the uh, the Flowmaster. Um, a somebody ask him how much money he lost today. <laughs> um, I get, I'm gonna give that guy a hard time. <clears throat> so the sounds. Obviously, we've got the helicopter click 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 sound. Hopefully, you guys. By the way, make sure you watch. Part one of Flowmaster. Um, who has not seen that one? So let me see if it's worth kind of rehashing any of that. Um, I think most people have seen Flowmaster part one. At least that's my assumption. But if you have not seen the Flowmaster part one, type a two. And that way I kind of get a gauge on tonight who has seen what. Nobody? Okay, so I think everybody has seen, um, most people have seen it. Yeah, the super mini copter. Exactly. Oh, there is a pink headshot. All right, um, I'm going to take a little stab at this with my sim account. Our time. Oof, six minutes. Okay. Um, I would not be surprised if this gets wrecked. I'm going to go ahead and pull stops down in here. Uh, but that is a pink headshot short. Oof, now there is a double cross that just came in there. Facing the screenshot coming. You hear the buyers stepping in right there? So the buyers tried though. Look, they didn't move it anywhere. So maybe, maybe it comes back down. There she is, turned it into a uh, double. Yeah, now it's double crosses right there. Exactly, JC. The double cross, the pink went to a red, which means it's reiterated. You heard the buyers try. They really didn't move it too much, but I have a feeling that's continuing to push up there. But how can I tell? How can I tell? That, you hear that sound right there? That's the buyers, boom. And that stopped out right at the back of that cross. Here's a screenshot through that again. So as it pushed straight through that, through the back of the cross, again, small stop, but it did not, hold on a perfect headshot there. Buyers just pushing that through, right? Massive amounts of buyers pushing that into that area. Um, but there's, again, several ways we wanna use that. Does it mean just because I hear the, the order flow coming through um, that it's gonna push through that area? No, in fact, you guys will hear me say, and you'll, um, the buyer's try or the seller's try, especially when it's very hard, when it's like, yeah, that sound right there, right on cue, do, 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 and it's just like, they try and like the price does not move. All of those major hits and big sellers and speed get absorbed. And then the price starts to move up and up the other direction. And then all of a sudden the buyers step right back in Boom, what happens is that is absorption, what I call absorption. Yeah, as long as you guys are using a, any level of a professional grade screenshotting tool, I'm fine with it. Just do not tell me you're using freaking paint and the snippet tool from Windows. I will, I will cut you. <laughs> don't. All right. Um, as long as you're using one, I don't. I don't care as long as you have it because all of those utilities have a have a I don't want to say all of them. There's probably going to be one that doesn't, but find the option in there. You're going to need region so that you can select a region, and then you need a repeat. Okay, you need the repeat. The repeat is actually, I think, the most important. You need to be able to repeat a screenshot easily. 
Okay, which means it will take the exact same um, screenshot from your last. I'm going to find the screenshot here for how to set up your mouse and make it very easy. So you press one button. Yeah, holds the screen regions exactly. Repeat last screenshot. You need to bind that to a key on your G300. And I recommend this as your configuration for that. And again, so important for those screenshots. I talk about the mental thing that goes on when, when you do that. You don't mind taking a screenshot and all the other things that go into that. Extremely important. So absorption into an area though. So on Flowmaster, Flowmaster comes in, we hear it. Boom, we, we get the try into an area, they get absorbed, and then it's followed up. We can use this tool in so many ways. You know what's interesting is um, I, I watched an interview yesterday um, on YouTube, somebody had done on the guys who are in the pit right now. Again, the, 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 the few who are left in the physical New York Stock Exchange pit um, where these guys are trading. And their shift going home, where they're at home trading um, now, and the big shift that that was for them is they're, they no longer have the floor. They're not on, um, they're not on the trade floor anymore. And how the guy was saying that he doesn't have a feel for the markets as well, sitting at home in his office. Because like there's just more going on, you can hear you can hear the chatter, the excitement, what people are talking about, and you're just hearing all of this activity. There's a different feel for it. Um, got a link? Yeah, let me find it. It was actually somebody interviewing it on Twitter. Uh, might be a little tricky for me, but yeah, I'll post the link here when I find that one from yesterday. And but I want you to pay attention to that. I started to think about. You feel that? Right now, the sound, right? You can hear, you can feel the seller stepping in right there, right? Now we're riding that purple line. So they're getting all absorbed right there on this purple line here, right? You hear that? And then it's followed up by buyers. So again, right here, we've got buyers and sellers at, in battle, right? Glitch, no, Adam, we've shown that several times. That means you've got a dot coming in from a much higher time frame as well as a lower time frame. That's an awesome setup right there. Uh, so I'm talking about this in the room here. Adam was asking about this one. Again, pretty, pretty rare. I should probably start collecting those um, and put those in a strat section, but I don't have a specific trade set up for that necessarily. But it's just a, a stronger green dot. Basically I have two green dots, a green dot from a higher time frame and a lower time frame coming into that section right there. Yeah, Michael G said, hearing that sound gives you the, quote, true nature of trading, end quote. Not charts, it's people. Yes, hearing the activity and the size and speed of those orders coming in can give you a, I'm going to do air quotes here, a feel, right? You're getting an, uh, you're getting a, an additional advantage, an edge added to our trades because we can feel it. Uh, we'll show examples of how we use that, but we do it here in the room all the time. We can, you can hear the buyers try, you can hear the sellers try, especially on absorption. You can kind of do it both the other direction. Um, Mike M said, yeah, so much better than book map. Yeah, so there are some visual tools out there that try to do that. Oh, but nothing is better than the Flowmaster combo of having the pinpoint crosses Right, which are kind of like their their bubbles. You know, Jigsaw tries to do what we do in our Flowmaster product. They try, okay. They give them the they give it the old heave ho. Right, but go compare theirs to ours. Like, put them on your charts, and I always put this out to people. You know, I'm looking for. I'd love them to challenge us, and you know, let's show it. Right, put your money where your mouth is. Somebody step up to the plate. Tell me that Jigsaw is better than. Algo box. <laughs> Let me laugh. Okay, I'm done. Um, 
Put your money where your mouth is, right? I'd love that competition. In fact, somebody said they were going to do it. I'm waiting for them to step up to the plate. Oh, AK over there with um, the shill room with Seth and his little jigsaw affiliate shill. How about Bloodhound? <laughs> Bloodhound is not a strategy. Bloodhound is, is neat. It's neat in concept, in theory. Um, but I dare somebody to, uh, you know, it's the strategy behind... The Bloodhound. The Bloodhound is just a tool. Um, but it can't adapt to the market. It can't be optimized like we do. Our system adapts on the fly to current market conditions. Can Bloodhound do that? Nope. Uh, nice to put a new student of Algobox versus Veterans of Jigsaw. Oh, I do that all day. I would do that all day. I would put one of my students up against anybody with Algobox. Um, oh, double dot right here. Double dot, power dot inside of a PRZ. That is a, uh, should be a long spot right here, but it's right off of that line. Let's see if we launch here. What's our, where's our timing? It's on the king timing. I'm going to dip my toe in. See what happens here. Now again, I'm still the sim account right now. I've not switched back over to my line. There's a double dot on the line right here. Yikes, sellers coming in all over the tape. Being like, no. But uh, I know my power dots, baby. There she goes. Target filled. Target one. Let's go for target two and push out some runners into the PRZs up above. Let's see if this is the distribution time. We don't have timing. It's the only thing we don't have. Timing is a little bit tricky here. What's our Mac V? It's moving. Oh, Christmas tree. Okay. So Christmas on the Mac V. Oh no no, we're over. We're uh we're into the green. So Mac V greenish, a little bit less important here. The morning session. There she goes. Second screenshot of this. And the thing that gets me about some of these other rooms is. It's it's such a shill out there. They act like they're so interested in their traders succeeding, but they're they're so not. When when uh, if you go and even post a screenshot of of Algobox in in any of those other rooms that pretend to be completely not, aff we're not specifically affiliated with Jigsaw. Hint hint nudge nudge. Mm hmm. Right. But I dare you go out there to the next largest futures trading room which is uh, Seth's room. Uh, it's, uh, it's the Reddit Futures Trading Discord. And go in there and post your results from Algobox. In fact, uh, we'll take it a challenge today. If you Google, everybody Google right now. Oh, there's a green dot, add to position. Tar target filled. There she goes, up, up, and away. Oh, and red dot to kill the party. Target filled. Glorious! Uh, but Google, futures trading discord, those three words. Okay. Uh, futures trading discord. Okay, so the next largest futures trading discord. Again, you guys don't really want to be in there anyway. Although it is a great room to be sitting in um, to get retail ideas. It's the best room on the planet to trade against. Get two of them to agree on a direction and then see an opposing signal on Algobox and triple down on the position. Okay. But type in futures trading discord. Again, all you guys are trading futures. You should be in there anyway. Okay. And then go in there though and then ask them why they will not allow a screenshot of, dis, uh, of Algobox. Like all these people who are successful with Algobox, ask them why they will not allow 
a screenshot of Algobox to be posted in their room? And here's my answer. They are so afraid. They know how powerful it is that everyone will ditch Jigsaw, okay, which is their bread and butter. They're making money off of Jigsaw, selling Jigsaw all day long. Their little affiliate links. And don't even get me started on Peter Davies. Go ask Tom Dante about Peter Davies and the history of that guy. It's a complete scam. Complete scam. Um, the guy's a complete turd. On top of that, I mean, look, people say I'm a turd too, but that's your opinion. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. Did they partner with Trade Oh, do they partner with everybody? They're like, they, they get shilled on features.io, okay? Their product looks cool. It looks almost as cool as ours. Now, actually, it doesn't look as cool as ours, quite frankly, okay? They teach people to continue to trade on the dome, which, hello, 1980s called. They want their mullet. They want their jigsaw, and they want their uh, flux capacitor back, okay? It, no. If you're still trading on the dome, you're behind. Chart trading became a thing, and, and if you're going to be in... Um, if you're going to do technical analysis, if you're going to be a TA trader, what is the point in using the dome and sitting there on the dome? And if you're going to, oh, well, it's the feel of it. It's a feel. In fact, I get it. If maybe you don't have Flowmaster Audio where you can actually hear and feel the tape coming at you, that's different. Um, <laughs> yeah, Flux Capacitor. Michael J. Fox called. <laughs> He wants his he wants his trash software back. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, Google Futures Trading Discord and join that room. It's like Reddit. Um, it's a Reddit room. I'm also banned from the Reddit room. Um, you know, I'm the number one futures educator that's out there, and yet they won't allow me to speak. Ask yourself why. Because I don't kowtow and pow to them. I don't pay their affiliate crap. I don't play their games. Yeah, there you go. There's a link to it. Perfect. There you go. Everybody hop in there. And, and see if, you know, look. See if you can have a voice of reason. In fact, see if you can convince somebody to allow you to post a screenshot of, of Algobox and start up that conversation today just just to have some fun distract yourself from you know don't be pressing the buttons till this afternoon right I think the middle part of the day today is gonna be very difficult folks I'm just telling you right now it's gonna be difficult right so wait till two o'clock this afternoon but if you want want some time and, and discover you go in there and look you're gonna be able to see a bunch of people struggling okay that room is what I call a cry room they love that everybody in there is losing so that they can Lean over on each other's shoulders, like, oh, I know, <laughs> I suck too. I know we all suck together, but it's okay. At least we're all in here together. We're gonna, we're following Seth, and Seth's got two parrots in his videos, and he sucks too. At least he tells us the truth and tells us. That he's not a profitable trader either, so we're all gonna hang out in here, high five each other about being suck asses. But if if now here's what happens: there's two moderators in that room that will regulate, right? Because they hate me so much. Now, mind you, one of them is the one who originally doxed my family. Okay, scumbags, complete scumbags. The originator, Gamma Trader himself, John Sue, who also pretends to be the John Sue from what is it, Merit Group. It was hilarious. A lot of oil discussion. You know why there's a lot of oil discussion? Well, right now, yeah, well, take that with a grain of salt. But there's a guy in there who I'm certain Gamma Trader is Gamma Trader talking over there right now. That guy is John Sue. He doxed my family. He was the first one to send it over to Macro Hedge. Um. You know, he, he's he's mad because I exposed him. I exposed, he talks about how him and his, his million dollar trade buddies, they're not, they're faking. But behind the scenes, they'll offer you mentorship if you private message them and for a price. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, call him out. Yeah, but... They'll, um, it's a big cry room. 
but they'll let you show book map. They'll let you show any of these other turd products. Okay, literally turd products. They'll let you post in that room. Okay, you can post a screenshot of Jigsaw. You can post a screenshot of your naked chart with your grandma's trend line on it. Okay, but they will not. If you post a screenshot of Algobox and it's winning and you crush it with it and then you show them how big your fat PL is, guess what they'll do? They'll delete your photo, tell you, ask you not to, and then when you do again or ask them a question, I'll be like, you're just one of any shills. We're kicking you out. Which is uh, it's just hilarious. So hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go box. Ooh. You can't have, we don't have winners in here. Right. They, that's, the, that's their policy in their room is hashtag no winners. <laughs> Uh, but no, I don't think it's fair to the people that are in that room. I feel bad for the people who are in that room that are pawned into following. Uh, let, let me, let's find a picture of the guy. Speculator Seth. Okay. Speculator Seth. That's what he calls himself. And, and, and says that he's all, you know, peace and love and harmony. So it's basically like a Democrat, right? Pretends to be one thing, but it's absolutely not. <laughs> Come on, hold on. Yeah, Speculator Seth um, on YouTube. Let's see here. Here's his YouTube channel. Now, it's funny. You would think that they would. If, oh, he's live streaming right now. He's live streaming, y'all. Go on his live stream and ask us in the room, like, why don't you allow stuff. Now, what's funny is he'll say, well, we saw a bad review on him on futures.io, which is funny they say that, except that the first actual review that's there is actually a positive review. <laughs> it's a huge positive review, but then all the trolls jump on it and the shills and the liars and the uh, the people who are trying to run other trade rooms. Um, one of Gambotage's, I think two or three of Gambotage's uh, buddy shills from Dr. Hanley jumped on that feed and start basically just outright lying on the thing. Um, I responded to a guy who said that I didn't return his PayPal, which was a complete lie. And that's the only thing I replied to. I said, well, um, I'm not certain why this guy is lying, but I just want to straighten out some facts here. If you want your money back, I will absolutely give you your money back and I will send you on your way. In fact, if you aren't successful here, if you're not going to be able to be successful here, I don't want you here. Um, but the guy lied, said, he won't even give you your money back if you want your money back. Oh, that's, that's a complete lie. So I responded to that. I didn't respond to any of the other stuff because, again, they've got some rules on futures.io for anybody who is technically a vendor. And so I respected those. In fact, my first conversation on futures.io was, I respect your position and thinking. In fact, I you know, agree with it. I think it's smart um, to minimize what... Um, what vendors say in, you know, random chats on there. Um, but, you know, I defended one point, and then he instantly, like, banned me. Anyhow, I, like, I have no access to Futures.io, ironically, right? We have the number one algorithmic trading product on the market in a room that claims to be its primary focus on algorithmic trading. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. It's a lie. All they're trying to do is shill for Jigsaw. In fact, if you sign up with a premium in Futures.io, what will they offer you? Oh, five hundred dollars off this pay-for product. You can come here on our free forum, but you can get access to all these other little tidbits for one hundred and fifty dollars, and we'll give you five hundred dollars off Jigsaw product. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. Affiliate? Much? Mm-hmm. The amount of shillery in this trading field is absolutely insane, and I cannot stand it. Anybody else with me on that? Anybody else like just absolutely sick and tired of all of the shill in trading? Makes me angry, honestly. It makes me genuinely angry. <laughs> he looks depressed. He looks excited to me. <laughs> well, maybe it's his live stream. Um, here, let's let's see. I'm gonna click in. I think I don't think he can block me on his live stream. Here we go. Let's give him some love. Hop into his live stream. Know this? Most traders that uh, I train. Yeah. 
it got cut way short again. There we go. They could probably turn back up and try again. Let me see what happens. Let me turn him up. He's got his jigsaw on the bottom right. He's got his jigsaw on the bottom right. Oh, yeah, we should troll him. Now, like a genuine question. Ask him a genuine question. Why will they not? So all these people are successful with our stuff. <laughs> you linked them, Discord. <laughs> okay. But why on earth will they not allow, why will they not let, like, all these people are succeeding with Algobox. Why will he not let a picture of Algobox be shown in his room if he's such an open guy? And he's so, Anthony, did you post something in there? Let me look. <laughs> Let me see. Um, Anthony says, you look depressed. Micro has Kai, commission 125. Why do people always want to complain about the micro commission? I don't understand. Does it make you feel better that you can trade a big ES contract or something? And they just think that it shouldn't be so high. I don't know. It kind of is having a commission as high as a tick is kind of bullshit. <laughs> We still. Uh, I actually think he has my text blocked. Can anybody oh, see my did. message? We ran out of. I put in there. Uh, I, I think he has me blocked. Um. You can't see it. No. See. F see. He does. He's got me. Okay. Here's what I posted in there. Here's what you can't see. Loans. No bad loans. Here's what I actually wrote, but nobody can see this in their room, uh, right? They'll do anything to block to, uh, Algobox or Truth. Not that today, Anthony. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we go. But uh, no trolls. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's uh, it's old Seth. Oh, oh, message deleted. Message deleted. Did they did they delete it? Did he call? It? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in that trade. I, I still see some things that make me think that maybe it will go up high. I think that if it does, so we, can, we can just be done. I mean, we got two okay trades. Removing messages now. I am absolutely. Um, Curtis's message got deleted. <laughs> Curtis, because I know who you are. And you guys are trolling, and this is uh, harassment. This is harassment? <laughs> okay, dude. It's against YouTube's terms of service. It's against YouTube's terms of service. And we're not going to put up anything with it. And we're not yeah. going to put up anything with it. That's fine. We can do this all day, boys. We can do this all day, boys. I will do every single one of you. Every single one Let's of you. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yo. We're going to do this for you guys. Jigsaw affiliate. You got to help me. Oh, he's asking his moderators. Mm -hmm. He's probably in the audio room. Is he in here? <laughs> He'd have better trade ideas if he was. Okay, so we're being uh, trolled. Ace, all of these people that you see with their names that um, you don't recognize. Any of the rooms you don't recognize, right? His little buddies. Steve and Dave use eToro to buddies. trade cryptocurrencies. Steve has a watch list for... <laughs> There's no way they're getting to see the baby. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. That was an uh, interesting bar just there between 79 and 76. Back down. See, there's one right there. Do you see him? Do you see him? Go get him. 
Jigsaw Philly. Go get him. Oh, he's so sad because we called him a Jigsaw I'll get him. I'm going to beat you to it. So, I will explain. Since I have all of you here, this is so perfect because there are people out there who will try and scan you. So, let me tell you one thing. Yes, and I'm not going to be like, use specifics or names or anything. But, of course, you all know who we're talking about, right? Yes, he won't say my name. You know why? Because Number one, will come here. no indicator system is worth $1,000. No indicator Absolutely system is worth $1,000. That's what he says. And I'll tell you why. Because the software that it runs on is worth $1,000. Okay? That software has the ability for you to program and make anything that you want. And if somebody is charging you more for the indicators than for the platform that the indicators runs on, there's something fucking wrong with that. Okay? You're being played. Okay? Okay. Number two, there are a lot of people out there that will go and they will find indicators that other people have made. So, for instance, Lizard Indicators. Go and search it on Google. This is a guy. He is so great. His name is Fat Tells. He is a really good programmer, and he's a really good market analyst. I, if you do not have Lizard Indicators because he puts them on his site, a lot of them are free. It's like a subscription. You pay $100, and then you get all of his indicators in the future ones. But there's also ones that are free. So go and download the free ones. But what some people will do is they'll take those free ones, and because they have the code, they'll go and they'll make small changes to those. Like, they'll change the way that it looks and, you know, fiddle around with little things that they think make it more, more useful or whatever. And then they'll go back and they'll sell it. So even though they didn't really come up with the, the base indicator that is really, truly valuable, they'll turn around and they'll sell it to other people for you know, ridiculous amounts of money. When Lizard Indicators, who was the guy that created most of this stuff, is over there giving you a subscription, lifetime subscription for 100 bucks, the best Ninja Trader indicators out there, in my opinion, for 100 bucks. There are people out there that will pay $1,000. Can you believe that? That is crazy. Okay. Number three thing. There are people out there that they cannot be successful on their own. They, they will try to be successful. Here's the thing. I just like streaming. We have a small little community here. We have a group of people that come by every day. And I'm, I really, I love my community and they're great. You love your community. It's and I don't charge. I'm not selling anything because my intention is to get this. better at trading and to have a community. Okay. But there are other people that it their goal is that. to make money. And since they can't make money trading, they're trying to take advantage of everybody else to do it. So they will charge ridiculous amounts for sure. things I mean, that don't telling, really make money. They basically that's scam that's you. True. And when you're somebody like that, the only way that you can really make money, that you can really be successful, is trying to tear other people down. So you will see that a lot in the trading industry. You'll see oh, these so people. They're down. always going out and attacking well, not, other people. I do now, not attack well, other people back, back by that. name. I'm sure I've probably done it a few times. Sometimes it's really hard to not like let your true feelings out about things. You know, I'm sure you can understand when yeah, you've been sure harassed the amount that I've been harassed by some people. Then you would start to you maybe you would understand. Are you on YouTube every day? I am on YouTube every weekday from 8:20 to 10:30 Eastern time. Lately, even more than that, because I don't really have to get started yeah, it's past with my day job. Well, it's that. past your time right now. It's 11 o'clock Eastern. Anyways. <laughs> so, these, these people, days. they will come in, and all they do, the way that they play on you, the way that they will play with your emotions, is they will say, there's this guy, and he's, he's not doing well. And there's this guy, and he's not doing well. And they'll attack everybody else, so that you don't pay attention to them that they're taking advantage of you, right? Because people like to be told, I'm special, I'm part of a special group, I have found something that has more edge than everybody else, and we, the chosen elite few that happen to have come across this silver bullet to the market, are the special people, and everybody else is, is bullshit and, and are lying to you. And people like to be told that. Right, it's, it's an effective marketing strategy. But people, that's a way to take advantage of people, right? 
my goal here only is to have a community. Sometimes I make money and sometimes I lose money. Today we made money, didn't we? Come over here, I'll show you my trades. We took a long uh, before the market opened and we made a pretty good profit on that. We we're just trading a micro contract. Trading micro. And then we had another one. I guess we could have taken a little bit more than, what was it, that we ended up taking like five ticks off of it? But that's okay. Um, that one had potential to go for a lot more. I guess maybe if we had gotten some better signals or had been paying attention. But the way that I'm trying to play it today, that's what we got. So it took two trades. We made some money. It's okay. Sometimes you'll come back and I don't make money. Um, and the point is to get better at trading. And I can't say that I'm always going to be on because what happens is the market changes. So you might have a strategy that works really, really well. And then the market changes on you and then it doesn't work really well. Yes, because that's kind of thing. That's trading. System like we have. Anybody that tells you is not like that is lying to you. Mm -hmm. This person that says, oh, yes, I make money every day. And I've made money every day for the past two years are full of shit. And you should ask them, I want a broker statement for every fucking day. Okay? You had a profitable period and a period of three months and they have broker statements for that. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? I can show you plenty of broker statements for months that were positive. And I can show you a lot of broker statements for months that were negative too. It happens. There are people that are up and then there are people that are down. These guys that they say, oh, I win every day. You know what happens to them? They will take a trade where they're like, maybe they're trying to make a point on the E-mini and they'll risk like 16 ticks. Okay. So when you're risking four times the amount that you would typically make on a trade, your win rate, mm, 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 mm. When, when you take trades like that, sorry. why am I having, there we go. He won't let anybody say anything about sorry. Alkalogs, see? When you yeah, trade like that, you that. take more so risk than you are actually taking when you win. If you say you have almost zero expectancy. Box. Like literally, like, to actually come out that. positive like, in a situation like that, is, you have to so win like right 80, now. 90 percent of the time. <laughs> it's not realistic. A, a good scalper, so like a, a guy that I would consider a good scalper who has a reputation and when we know has made some money and he's been more professionally starting a hedge fund now, Gary Norton. He, him, and he's selling a course right now, of course. But, um, very expensive course, too, by the way. But yeah, lighten up there, Potty. He's guys. teaching <laughs> equal risk reward one to one. Did I say, did I swear? I'm sorry. Uh, equal risk reward one to one. And um, he's winning about 70% of the time, but it's equal risk reward. If you're risking more, did he then say he's winning 7% of the time? If you're risking more on a trade than what you actually make, it just has to be higher. So if it's like two to one, then it's going to be like 80%. You can just go and do the math, Mr. Cook, right? Average winner times the percentage. There's obviously a problem with your win rate. You had 100% today, bro. 15 trades, 100%, and you made a thousand, over $1,000. You, you must be shilling. <laughs> so that's according to this guy. That's, why, that's our problem with him. He, doesn't, he will not let you talk if you're a winner. Like two to one, then it's like 80%, okay? And if you're going to risk four to one, like you really got to win a lot. And so what will happen is they will tend to win most of the time, like maybe 60% of the time. But then there will be this one day where it just doesn't work and they will completely blow up. And we've seen many of these people that we're talking about, they'll be talking a hot game and all of this. And then all of a sudden, the strategy that they have up there just completely blows up. So and for some reason, during that time period, they're not posting broker statements anymore. They're not saying anything about how awesome they are. They just kind of pretend that it didn't happen because they don't want you to know that their system blows up. They'll blame it on themselves. They'll blame it on themselves. They'll say, well, you just weren't trading right. You'll see there are people in the room. They'll say, uh, you know, I, I blew up. And they'll say, well, you're stupid. You shouldn't have blown up. But the reality is, is that the strategy itself, because it takes so much risk compared to what it actually makes, that it's destined to blow up. At some point, you're going to have a day that it just loses every single freaking time. That's what happens. That's the nature of the market. 
So this is how people take it. And I'm glad if people want to come in and try and troll me, that's totally great. Because one, it's against YouTube's terms of service to come in and brigade somebody else's YouTube channel. Okay. Number two, I get this great audience and I can, now I can prove how people are. I can I, I get to talk to you directly and explain why people are taking advantage of you. Listen, I'm really open. Okay. I work with brokers. For instance, um, Optimus Futures reached out and contacted me. And I tried their platform and everything. I think that there's some nice things about the platform. Okay. If, especially if you want to trade higher time frames, it's a great platform. Um, and it's cheaper than any of the other platforms out there uh, on a monthly basis if, you, if you're starting out. So it's, it's absolutely great. I really like it. Um, but it's not for me. It's not the greatest. And we've shown it. I think I'm going to make another video about it. But anybody that comes, they're a broker. They're a platform provider. Any of these people, I'm totally open. I will try them. I try the indicators. If you give me indicators, I will go and take them and back test them in Ninja Trader and back test them live and see if they're really work the way that they say that they are, which pretty much never happens. Okay. Um, but what I don't put up with is other people from other rooms coming in and trying to sabotage our stream. Okay. So we have people that they will spam. They continually come in, even though we've told them to not spam about other rooms, they'll come and they try and promote other rooms. Then of course, we're going to ban them because you're not supposed to be pushing other people's rooms. If you're going to come in and you're going to try and troll me from somebody else's room, then I'm going to remove you and ban you. Just And it's easy. Like, do you see how easy it is for me to do it? I can just delete tons of messages if I want to. It's so easy. It's so easy because you're just, you're trolling and you're not providing any value to anybody, right? You're just trying to bring somebody else down, which... Let me tell you, you will get nowhere in life if your whole goal to success is to take other people down, right? The way that you become the alpha person that, that is successful and, and builds things is by making everybody else around you more valuable, not by tearing them down. So that's my little rant. I need some more water now because I've been talking so much. I'll be right back. <laughs> Rick, all right, let's abandon him. He's excited about his 51 viewership. In fact, people are laughing because they're like, oh, you got your 50. You got to count up to 52 there. It must be your YouTube rank and route. All right, so we'll, we'll abandon that. So anyhow, now you've been introduced to Speculator Seth, who obviously, well, you know, Sure, I get. I've gotten angry myself when I've gotten trolled, but he's. Uh, he claims that we troll him. Like, what's interesting is, is I offered his entire room access to gold. Um, the very first time I went in there a long time ago, like, look, go try him out. Go try it out. Do it. Try it. Anyhow, things went sideways after that. I obviously got upset because literally anybody that posted success in his room with Algobox, he would close out their stuff. So, you know, you cannot pretend that you're running an open room that's like you want people to succeed and that you don't care by what means that requires. As long as it's not through Algobox or our system, because he just has a personal thing um, with me. I don't know. Like, look, beta males, they're like that, right? You run into an alpha, they absolutely hate you, right? You probably got beat up in high school. I get it. I did too, quite frankly. Junior high and high school for me, it was rough, right? Um... Guy took me under his wing, taught me how to work out, gave me some positivity, worked out with him every day, um, crushed it. Till the uh, till one day I threw Jason Milburn over a lunchroom table, and then after that, nobody uh, nobody messed with Vinny anymore after that. Um, whole different life change when I finally uh, fought back and uh, threw somebody across the room. Sometimes you got to do that to get him to quit. Uh, Life-changing moments, you know. Uh, so anyhow, that's the uh, that's the shill room for Jigsaw. He claimed that he wasn't selling anything, folks. Let me ask you something: If somebody's an affiliate trying to get you to buy another product, 
claiming that, oh, it's just an open room. I just hang out here for the community, right? And underneath his little thing, he's like, three people have put, you know, $93. Um, what is it when you do the, uh, where you send money on like Twitch and all those other things? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a YouTube streamer. I like the attention. Yeah, some kind of donation thing, right? Uh, affiliate links, right? We know he can't trade. He's admitted he can't trade. He's trading micros. If you can actually trade, why would you be, no offense to people who are trading micros, but like if you're, if you're growing up there, but why are you leading people? Why are you trying to lead, right? If you can't trade, why are you leading? That's the problem with this shill industry. So many people who can't trade trying to lead people like this guy. That's my issue mainly with him. And in fact, I don't mind if you're doing your thing. If you're literally like, let's find the best thing out here. Okay. He obviously doesn't care if you're going to promote, I don't know, lizard tail trades or whatever. Who's, you know, selling uh, whatever. It's $100 membership to their website or futures.io, $150 for the website, right? Apparently it's the price thing. Please. It's not the price thing, dude. Not the price thing. Um, the product is either valuable or it's not. So we'll just continue. But this is, uh, this is part of the problem out there in the industry is that even the people who pretend like this guy to be like completely neutral, he says he's neutral, but he will not allow you to show an Algobox screenshot. Not a screenshot if you say the word Algobox. In fact, you notice he wouldn't even say my name, okay? He's like, oh, you know who we're talking about. You know who we're talking about. Talking about. Vinny E. Mini. that's right. Because if you say my name, because here's the thing, I'll say Speculator Seth all day. Am I worried about all you guys going to follow Speculator Seth? No. If you follow him, you're just as dumb. In fact, Humphrey might like him, okay? Humphrey, there is your Democrat pretend faker baker. You can go follow him if you want, okay? Um, he's there. They are so afraid to say my name. Why would that be? There's only one reason. Because they know if you even take a glance in our direction, you will see there is a difference in what we do versus what they're doing. You will see the success you will have almost instant success. That's how powerful our tools are. And he said, you know, he's claiming that, oh, it's just, you know, reworked indicators from, I'm like, I dare you to find our tools somewhere else. I dare you. They don't exist. They don't exist. Now, I'm not saying every piece. I'm sure look that volume up, down indicator down below. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, he's got a Mac V, but we have a Mac D. It's just a slight change. A slight change? There's some major changes in ours, but okay, we'll go there. Anyhow, all right, off on my rants. We have, uh, we've gotten to about 11.10 here, and did a great job here crushing it this morning. Um, you guys have done a fantastic job. We will do Flowmaster Part 2 this evening, so look forward to that training. Um, and we will... Uh, it from there any other questions i can get answered otherwise i'm going to take a break we'll grab some lunch and get you guys on the flip side this afternoon two o'clock for the afternoon session two ish two thirty ish um one last piece of irony did you see your question uh my question ask Vinny. uh let me see so if you ask any questions, let's see here. What was the question? If any, how difficult is it to have alert on chart represented on another chart? I have a dev epiphany. I will have some mock-ups this weekend. Uh, have an alert from one chart represented on another chart. Um, you mean global? Um, you can do you can do global on on anything. You can set any any indicator that you add on the chart. You set it to global, and it'll show up on other charts. So I'm not sure what you're wanting to do there. Um, Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to pull down that tweet from yesterday, the lady who got arrested at the park. Come to find out that was fake news. Actually, I'm going to go delete that now. So somebody wrote underneath it and gave me an update on that. 
and they said, hey, it's not true. She was arrested for trespassing in a section of a public park that was closed and marked off with caution tape after being asked multiple times to move on to an open section of the park. So it was probably one of those ladies that was just being, you know, doing whatever to be police belligerent and whatever and just doing the things. Um, yeah, I was surprised to hear that as well, but I'm going to delete that tweet. It's one of those where, like, they're just trying to get attention from it, and they did, so I'm not going to help spread the attention. I'm going to go delete that tweet. Yeah, and that's the problem with these people these days, right? They're just doing whatever they can. Like, even Seth, like, they're excited because they got 51 viewers all of a sudden today because we all hopped in there um, to, you know, go see the shill for ourselves. But that little product, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, was Jigsaw. And he's like, oh, you know, this is what I use. Look, you're selling, dude. You're, you're affiliate marketing. You can pretend like, oh, it's not mine and I'm not selling. It's like any, <laughs> whatever, dude. But these guys saturate the market with information uh, for these products, Jigsaw is everywhere. I mean, everywhere. They are affiliated with everything. In fact, Tom Dante told me, dude, they, they tagged on Tom Dante and asked him to affiliate for him because he won't affiliate for anybody. Uh, solid guy. If you want to follow somebody, follow Tom. Um, he won't affiliate for anybody. Um, and it's just how he stands. And he's a good dude. Um, but he even got asked by them. Like, they ask anybody with influence, any influencer out there of any size like they're oh jigsaw oh we'll give you a discount if you hang out with us i, I get it smart marketing on your part but don't pretend don't come out here and pretend to me like this guy's all legit as shit so pardon my french but to to sit there and and play that game with me and then when people are successful you're gonna just close them off because you don't want people to know that there is a better answer craziness Alrighty then. Um, did that answer your question, Remel? I'm like, so you wanted something from another chart? Uh, click on global data series. So you're gonna have to be more specific in your question. Don't be vague. Don't play games. Data calculations, graphics. All more helpful. Yeah, um, give me a call around uh, lunchtime today, about uh, 40 minutes or so. Um, I'll have some time, so look me up and we can chat. Um, let's see, other things, I missed anything else. Good, five stone. Stuff there. Anthony, um, SMLK Plus. Anthony, you do not have the plus pack, my friend. Um, if you want it, you can buy it. Um, but that's why you get that error message. Um, let's see. Davamite. <laughs> All right, Dave. I will, uh, I'll tell him. All right, folks. I will catch you guys on the flip side to this afternoon. Excellent work here this morning. Um, let's see if this works. Nope, that one didn't work. Uh, how about this one?